What's going on sixpackabs.com? Today I am giving you the science, the deep down science of cortisol, stress, and how those glucocorticoids actually do elicit a response that causes us to store abdominal fat more than any other fat. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my science-based six-pack intermittent fasting program down in the description. It's literally the world's best-selling intermittent fasting guide and step-by-step -step meal plan to help you understand intermittent fasting and get in the best shape of your life. So anyway, let's get down to the science though. All right, so it starts with the adrenal gland. Okay, the adrenal gland is a gland that sits up by the kidneys and it regulates a lot of different hormone responses in the body. Okay, it regulates different catecholamines, different things that cause it to get excited and get scared and all this stuff. But actually, even before there, it starts with the brain. So it starts with the brain recognizing some kind of stress response. Okay, maybe we get stressed out about an email or maybe we get stressed out about a tiger. Body doesn't really know the difference. Fact is, the brain sees stress and it translates that stress into a hormonal signal. And then that hormonal signal travels to the adrenal gland. And once it's to the adrenal gland, it triggers a specific cholesterol that is at the adrenal site to get acted upon by different enzymes. And that cholesterol gets converted into something known as cortisol. And maybe you've heard of cortisol before because you've heard people talking about how cortisol will make you fat and yada, yada, yada. Okay, it kind of is that way, but the fact is cortisol is a good thing and we need it. The problem is it's something that's known as a glucocorticoid. A glucocorticoid is a hormone that triggers the release of sugar or glucose into your bloodstream, hence the word glucocorticoid. So once your body creates cortisol, that cortisol tells the body to release sugar from all areas of the body, release the sugar from the muscles, release the carbohydrates and the sugar from the liver. Why? Because the whole idea behind having cortisol is to release sugar so that we have energy to run because your body doesn't know the difference between stress that is being caused from a pesky email coming from your boss or stress that's coming from a tiger chasing you through the savanna. So that's all there is to it. The fact is, once your body releases that glucose, you need to burn it. Problem is, most of us are sitting around getting stress from all areas of life and we're not acting on it. So what happens? That sugar is released into our bloodstream and it travels around with nothing to burn it off. And then it goes to the abdomen and it gets stored in the abdomen. So in essence, we're basically taking sugar that's already in our body, stored healthily in our muscles to usually give us energy, and we're turning it into fat. That's all there is to it. But it actually gets even worse. You see, once you're chronically stressed and your cortisol levels are elevated for a long period of time, then your body starts to break down fat as well. And at first, you're probably like, hey, this is really cool, we're breaking down fat, that's great, we're gonna burn some fat. It would be if you were using it, but the problem is your cortisol levels are elevated all the time, even when you're sleeping, and now your body is doing its best to not only release sugar, but also release fat. So it's releasing these fatty acids from other areas in your body, and then they're circulating throughout your body, but they're not getting burned. So they end up going back to the abdomen. So you have carbs that are getting converted through lipogenesis into fat in the stomach, and then you're getting fat that's getting displaced from other areas in the body into the stomach. Then we have to add insult to injury when we know that abdominal fat is directly linked with insulin resistance. So now that the fat that was throughout the rest of your body is in your abdomen, it's triggering you to become insulin resistant. So then when you do eat carbs, your blood sugar is staying high because insulin isn't allowing it into the body. So now you have tons of blood sugar floating around through your body with nowhere for it to go except fat and to make you more hungry. High blood sugar gives you sugar cravings. So then you eat more carbs and those other carbs you've eaten can't be absorbed, so they're floating around. You can see how this turns into a completely vicious circle and how people that are normally healthy but just get super stressed out end up accumulating a lot of abdominal fat. Now, there was one particular study that took a look at this that was really interesting too. It took a look at 2,527 men and women that had high levels of cortisol over a period of years. They did a hair follicle test to really test their cortisol. Well, they found that those that had higher levels of cortisol had a direct linear relationship with higher amounts of not just abdominal fat, but higher amounts of overall body fat and adipose tissue to begin with. There's no denying that cortisol has a relationship with body fat, specifically belly fat and abdominal fat and even visceral fat that surrounds the organs. So what can you do? We can't always modulate stress. Sometimes I think we are naturally coded to be more stressed out type A type people. So we can't always avoid that. But what you can do is recognize when you do get stressed out and take every precaution possible to try to burn some of that extra glucose. Plus, you're gonna get an endorphin rush that helps you feel a little bit better. So you get stressed out, go do a couple pull-ups. You get stressed out, you feel that surge of energy because you get stressed out, you know that acidic feeling you get in your stomach, 
go hash out a couple squats, air squats, push-ups, burpees, whatever. Get something, burn up that glucose so it's not just floating around making you insulin resistant. You may not be able to control your stress, but you can control your response to it. So as always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on sixpackabs.com and don't forget to check out the intermittent fasting program down below. It won't disappoint. See you in the next video.